We're talking USC football with Nick Dempsey from Conquest Chronicles, as we, as we do each and every week. Uh, a little special edition with Nick here on a Monday afternoon. We've knocked out the quarterbacks, as we get you set for 2017. We turn our attention to a talented core of running backs. You know, Nick, Ronald Jones, he's been one of my favorites since he stepped on the field. I just think he's a game changer, game breaker. There are a few little flaws in his game that he needs to shore up to become that that nationally known guy that can be counted upon and possibly maybe even join Sam Darnold in the Heisman race. Yeah. Wouldn't that be something to, for USC to get back to having two guys in the, in the Heisman race every year. But uh, Ronald Jones is, he's uh, very fast, incredibly elusive. The guy is hard to bring down. Uh, and when he touches the ball, he can explode and, and go the distance. Um, he's that, type of threat anytime he gets a touch now he was not the starter last year he sat behind justin davis although he did get into the rotation uh that was in large part because his pass blocking skills were not the greatest um justin davis's were much better uh even though ronald jones was the better runner um davis is gone uh ronald jones has shown improvement in uh his pass blocking skills but at this point now uh, it's really just about uh, him just hitting the hole or making whatever cut he needs to to hit the hole. And he's going to show explosiveness and he's going to be a tough, tough stop for opposing defenses. Um, and it's really, you know, obviously it's only going to help out Sam Darnold to have a, a running back who can hit 20 plus touches every game and get, you know, a, average comfortably over five or six yards a touch. Uh, that's always been what Helton wants to do despite who he has a quarterback and all his receiving options. Um, he wants balance in the run and pass and he absolutely wants a team that can run the ball for however many yards he needs to, even when everyone in the building knows you're going to run. Um, so he's going to get Ronald Jones, all kinds of touches. Now he does like to rotate backs though. Um, and sometimes the way he rotates them frustrates USC fans rather than letting each back go for a series, he'll rotate them on plays. So right behind him, I would expect to see Aka Cedric Ware um, start to get into the rotation. Ware last year was sort of the, the number three back behind Jones and Davis. Uh, like I said, Davis is gone. So Ware didn't see a lot of touches last year, but when he did, he made the most of them. And so I would really expect him uh to see some time also helping out where is that as of right now he's probably a better pass blocker than ronald jones um so that should definitely help him see more time on the field uh and with ronald jo uh, with davis gone he'll get more touches just as a matter of course um another guy you saw last year was dominic davis uh he you know he's a junior he's been here two seasons uh, or he's played two seasons, and in those two seasons, he's got all of 37 touches uh, for a grand total of like 200 some yards. Uh, it's not a lot. Uh, he's very fast. He's also on the USC track team, but he just really hasn't had his chance to break in. Uh, and I don't know if he's going to get uh, a chance to see really any more touches this he might see time on the service team because he's got Ware and jones ahead of him and then right behind him he's got two uh very talented freshmen one a red shirt one a true um that are probably um have more talent than he does at running back so davis might get squeezed out uh of the conversation now coming in at, at running back three i think you got uh vave malapai uh he he four or five star recruit army all-american uh, came in last year as a freshman, showed tremendous, amend, uh, tremendous, excuse me, uh, potential uh, in camp, and then he got injured, missed his freshman season, had to redshirt. Uh, so he's back, he's healthy, he's had another camp uh, or spring ball, and has shown uh, uh, a lot of promise. Uh, so he's probably coming in as the three back. <laughs> Uh, and then behind him is the uh, just absolutely electrifying five-star running back, Stephen Carr. Um, uh, this guy, uh, true freshman, he's an elite talent. The thing is, is that because you have three or even four solid running backs, there's going to be that impulse to run a red shirt him. Uh, the thing is, though, he might just be too good to do so. 
Uh, and it's also highly likely that during his recruitment, he was probably promised early playing time in his freshman season. I can't say that for sure, but I would imagine that's how it went down. So this is the guy that could shoot up the depth chart uh, if he impresses in, in fall camp for sure. And if he makes the most of whatever touches he does get early, this is the guy who could leapfrog uh, a few people in front of him. Uh, uh, and all of a sudden you've got four like highly touted uh, elite backs at USC. Um, he and, and Malapai could make a, a, an amazing duo once Ronald Jones and Aka Cedric Ware move on to wherever they're headed next. Uh, you could really see an amazing duo of running backs, uh, the likes of which has been a while since we've seen. But USC has absolutely got back to that sort of running back you mentality. Um, I'm not saying, you know, the next Reggie Bush or the next, you know, uh, insert elite USC running back from history here. But there's certainly plenty of talent. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to say the next Marcus Allen is here on this depth chart, but I think there's a lot to be excited out of this running back core. There's plenty of talent, um, and there's so much. Like at this point, like guys like Dominic Davis, who are very good, they're getting squeezed out. Uh, but it uh, will be interesting to see how T. Martin, the offensive coordinator, and Clay Helton manage all these guys to get the touches uh, uh, they need to keep everybody health and fresh but also getting the stats they need. So um, could be a very good time for the USC backfield just in general with Don Darnold and Jones and Ware and, and, and Carr and everybody else. Uh, there's going to be a lot of talent in that backfield and a lot of production on the ground for USC. Yeah, Stephen Carr out of Fontana, the third-rated running back, according to 247 Sports in the Nation, the third-rated player in California, possibly the best um, – state for high school football talent. The interesting thing about uh, Malapai that I see here is that, uh, so you got a new running backs coach in Dylan McCullough. Mm -hmm. And of course there's scouting reports and track records and he can see the stat sheet and see the pecking order coming into it. But uh, Dominic Davis uh, missed spring practice because of a concussion and Ware missed it because of a foot injury mm -hmm. and Malapai got a ton of reps, and McCullough was extremely impressed with his durability, his toughness, running between the tackles, can protect and uh, the passer and block and do all the little things without the ball in his hands, um, and, and was just very impressed. And, in, 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 you know, when, when you impress the positions coach and he doesn't get a chance to see the, the other two guys firsthand at this point, yeah. and they might be a little bit hobbled coming into the summer, then, then maybe that gives him a little bit of an advantage to, to gain a couple more carries and get a little bit more playing time. Yeah. And he, I would, you know, USC has, is in the last year or two has used three plus running backs in the rotation and they like to switch it up. Um, so I would not be surprised if he he got in. Honestly, I wouldn't even be that surprised if he leapfrog where at some point this season. Uh, but at this point, it's just it feels like it's going to be Ronald Jones gets the ball until Ronald Jones doesn't want the ball anymore, or until Clay Helton has pulls him out because he's just run himself uh, uh, to exhaustion. Um, but having said that, I really could see him getting in the Malapai getting in the rotation, making the most of his touches. He, he like you said, he takes advantage of his opportunities um, and he does all the little things right. You know, USC. I mean, they kept Ronald Jones as the number two running back because despite him being probably the best runner on the team, uh, he didn't do the little things right in particular. Not the pass blocking is a little thing, but. Um, so they place a heavy emphasis on that. So if you can do that, you can climb up the step chart. Um, but it's, you know, it's right now, it's probably going to be the Ronald Jones show and, uh, it, that should be very exciting to watch. Yeah. It's not a little thing when you get heat seeking missiles coming off the edge, uh, <laughs> headed at your Heisman trophy, uh, candidate. So <laughs> very it's true. Important. Uh, people don't look at it. They, they want to know, okay, this guy averaged uh, four and a half yards per carry. And this guy averaged six yards per carry. Why is he not playing? Well, because yeah. this guy can, uh, chip a guy that's coming off the edge to give uh, Darnold a, a half second more to find somebody downfield and stay upright. All right. Very good stuff. A stacked uh, lineup of running backs at USC. Ronald Jones, of course, the headliner for now. Uh, I'm surprised that he caught 11 passes last year. I know we've discussed that. I think that uh, they should be working on the hands and his ability to 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 just swing out of the backfield or or 
create some kind of mismatches for him downfield to to get the ball in his hands in space. I would think that that would be an opportunity that um, they could use Mr. Jones again as well uh, in that capacity. Uh, Nick Dempsey, Conquest Chronicles, myself, we're breaking down USC position by position to get you set for the first week of August at uh, USC. Nick, we always appreciate it. Of course, Mark, anytime.